boom the act of romance in marriage all right guys my name is Ayode Jani Fushi and this is great father great husband channel and uh, today I'll be talking about the act of romance in marriage if you're not yet subscribed to my channel you can subscribe and uh, if you are subscribed thank you for being part of the family thank you for the support god bless you Romance is a powerful force that makes you feel connected to someone in a deeper way. So, it does not necessarily need to be beyond the line of sex alone. I'm going to explain that to us today. Now, because I've seen over the years that many people have taken the issue of romance, you know, dirty and uh, essentially, I'll, I'll go a bit into the issue of PDA. PDA is public display affection many people you know are shy about that i, I know we we are different in one way but there's some basic understanding of romance that we must have uh that will, that will be a guideline for us in life very very important my wife was telling me something ago doing a research that uh, at least you must touch your spouse at least 13 times in a day 13 times in a day so that way that's also of our romance but i'm going to go deep a little bit now i'm talking now as a man to a woman so what does a woman how does a woman see romance a woman see romance as a as displaying of affection without hidden agenda a woman wants to feel loved a woman wants to feel appreciated a woman wants to feel valued so they, they need that expression a woman wants to be reassured sometimes in a day i could tell my wife 20 times i love you you see that she doesn't know that i love her yeah but that is how a woman has been built and it's just a way of reassuring i love you no matter what i love you you know i love you so and that that's why sometimes some women reject some of those uh, the way the way some of some of our men go about the way their, their their romance because they, they feel it's going to lead somewhere that will cause them something obviously most of them think that it's always going to lead to sex and trust me uh, the the act of romance should not always lead to sex yes it should not always lead to sex so i'm going to give you some ideas uh, or ways to be romantic in your marriage the number one thing is learn to give your spouse a kiss learn to give your spouse a kiss at least twice in the day in the morning and in the evening at, at the minimum in my in my house we began even counting how many times in a day we can't count it has become a way of life for us then the second one is learn to give a good hug now there are different types of hugs in fact if if i should want to introduce a course on org. I think my wife is the best teacher. She will come and teach her org one on one. She will teach you how to org the proper way to hug. You need to learn to give a good hug. And guess what? Suddenly our children also has emulated that my daughter knows how to give a very good hug because she has seen us give a very good hug. Because you are spiritual, that God has empowered you doesn't mean you it should not be romantic. No, you can't say that. The songs of Solomon is part of the Bible. Look at the romantic processes, words that went through or that, that, that have been written in that scripture. Check, check yourself. Spice up your marriage. The other one is buy flowers. Before the pandemic started, sometimes I could be somewhere, maybe I had a little time uh, to go out and uh, I just remember like, wait, it's really where I got my wife flower. I just got a flower. I will let her know. I'm Zoom, I'm already in her office. And she was like, oh, we're just talking. He didn't tell me you were coming. Yeah, it's a surprise. And then, you know, that doesn't mean that that night I want to have sex. That's the reason I'm giving her a flower. No. Not because of sex. No, not because I want anything from her. But, but because I truly love her. I want to prove it to her. I want to show it to her. Then, another one is you could go on a long walk or a long drive. Learn to go on a long walk and, long, and hold each other's Learn to hold each other's hands especially in the public don't be shy women women love that they, they appreciate that so much they do i'm telling you they do 
Learn to hold your wife. Learn to hold, hold them. Learn to, you know, well, in a proper way. Not, not, don't be aggressive. Do it gently. And guess what? If you don't know how to hold, hold your wife, ask your wife. I promise you, they will help you out. Ask your wife. My wife has been able to help me so many ways. I know I know how to manage my wife very well. So wherever I'm, I'm still lacking the mind, she tells me, okay, you know, instead of you hold me this way, I think she hold me this way. I think she she hold me this way. I think she. And we are, we are having our fun in our marriage. Yes, marriage is a beautiful thing. And romance is part of it. You can't take out romance from marriage. And and this is something you, you don't need to be a pro overnight. It's something we learn. Even me, I'm still learning to be better every day when it comes to being romantic. Every day I'm learning. So another one is write a heartfelt letter. When last did you write a letter to your wife? Do one. Maybe you took a trip or you went on a trip, maybe for one or two days. Write a letter. A health felt like they love it. That's romantic also. And that one you want to do is, you know, you can go on a romantic retreat. Go on a retreat with your spouse. It's gonna really help. Like I said, it doesn't it doesn't really need to lead to sex. Another one is make a meal. Make a meal. Serve your wife breakfast on the bed. I've done that with my wife a couple of times, so it's it's not it's not a beauty. I, I even like cooking. So obviously no our favorites. And make a meal, most especially breakfast in the morning, you know, on the bed. Well, at least she, she can tell you that she enjoys that at least. If not, if, if not many times in a year, at least she knows on her bed day, I, I find a way around around it to do things and then summer breakfast on the bed. And uh, movie night. It's just movie night. Um, when I say movie night, it's in your house. You, you don't need to, and that's the thing. Being romantic doesn't need you to spend so much money. You could you could create a movie night in your house. So, okay, we do date night. Sometimes our date night we do it in the house. You know, I just I, I already have some kind of, of movies I feel we should watch together, and then that kind of movie we we'll play and we we'll watch together. And that I should be beside me. She she can put that shoulder. But let me make a confession here. Sometimes when we watch those movies together, before you say Jack Robinson, if you're not careful, I'm gonna dozen off. Go away help me. Like another thing you can do is. Carrier, that's if you can carry your spouse. If you can, if you can carry your wife, please. So don't go and and and, and get her wounded or hurt somewhere. Else. Please don't do that. So carry her if you can. Then another thing you should do is run the bath together. Go into the shower together. It's fun. Go to the shower together. Then massage her. Give her a good massage. Like I said, it does not need to sex. Then. Um, dinner times at home you know prepare the dinner prepare the dinner at home and you know eat with her eat with her I might, when i say dinner dinner for two just the two of you maybe if you have children already put your children to sleep and then you know or it could be in the house then meet up for lunch or dinner that, that is you can set up a place outside to meet for lunch or dinner and you know spend time together you know talk talk send text send voice notes I remember recently, I remember that it's been a long time I spoke, I sent my wife voice notes. I asked to send her a voice note. And you know, this was the way we were spicing up our, our relationship even before we got married then. And then, you know, I remember that, oh God, it's been a while. I sent another one again. Then drop notes, put a note on the fridge, put a note in the bathroom, on the side of the bed. You know, just spice up your marriage. Guys. Don't do all this. Don't let the devil take any hold in your marriage. You can also take her on a trip to the first place you met or where you proposed to her. That's that sound romantic, isn't it? It does. It does sound romantic. I can also tickle her. I tickle my wife a lot. And then my children, they, they will come tickle me. We just, just have that fun. And finally, ask her how you can be of help. You're going to wonder, does that sound romantic? Yeah, it is. Ask her how you can be of help. Go ahead and make those changes. Be a romantic man and let your marriage enjoy the fresh fire of God. Live that life. Life is short. Don't let any media or anybody or this disturb your thought process of how beautiful God has made sex in marriage to be. And romance is part of it. To make your marriage what it's supposed to be. 
I leave you guys with that word today. My name remains Ayodhya Fumushi. Until we see next time, if Jesus tarries. Bye.